Since 1971, the Congressional Black Caucus, founded by 13 legendary leaders, has served as the conscience of the Congress. As we celebrate our 50th anniversary of advocating and fighting for Black people and our communities, we are commemorating Black History Month by sharing our testimonies and honoring living Black history. Our power, our message, I'm Congresswoman Joyce Beatty, Chair of the Congressional Black Caucus, and this is just the beginning. message, Living Black History. As a former chair of the Congressional Black Caucus, congratulations on the 50th anniversary of the CBC and your Living Black History tribute. I look forward to working with you as we build back better and continue to fight for the soul of our nation. Thank you for fighting on the front lines for your communities, your districts, and our nation. Now, more than ever, our conscience of the Congress is displaying their resilience, their dignity, and their integrity to show that this is our power and our message. Hello, I'm Congressman Hakeem Jeffries, and I'm proud to represent the 8th Congressional District in Brooklyn and Queens. My Black History Month spotlight will be on the great Rosa Parks. When she sat down on that bus in Montgomery, Alabama, so that everybody else could stand up with liberty and justice for all. Hello, I'm Congressman Hank Johnson, and one of my black history heroes is my father, Henry C. Johnson Sr., who was the third highest ranking official at the Bureau of Prisons at the Department of Justice, and at the time, one of the highest ranking blacks in federal government. This is our power, our message. Hello, my name is Ilhan Omar. I represent Minnesota's 5th Congressional District. My black history contribution is that I am the first black woman elected in the state of Minnesota and the first black Muslim woman elected in Congress. My advice to our youth today is to never doubt the value you bring and the power you hold. I'm Congresswoman Barbara Lee, proudly representing California's 13th district. My black history moment came in high school when, the, with the help of the NAACP, I changed the racist rules that only allowed white girls to be cheerleaders. My elders believed in me and I became the first African-American cheerleader at San Fernando High School. This is our power and our message. Hello, my name is Congressman Stephen Horsford and I represent Nevada's 4th district. My black history legacy is being the first black member of Congress from the great state of Nevada and the first black member to serve as our state Senate Majority Leader, following in the footsteps of black leaders like State Senator Joe Neal, who fought to uplift black voices and make my path possible. Black History Month is absolutely critical that we celebrate this year, that we double down our commitment for racial equity in the United States and an end to white supremacy. Our message, our power. My Black History moment is when a friend and a former colleague in the Illinois General Assembly, Barack Obama, became President of the United States. It's just how Martin and Rosa and John Lewis and many others planned it. This is our power, our message. Hello, I'm Congresswoman Brenda Lawrence and I represent Michigan's 14th Congressional District. My salute is to black women, those founders who led the way and we stand on their shoulders to the amazing leaders that we have today. This is our power and this is our message. 
Hello, I'm Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee, and I'm standing on the soil in Emancipation Area where the slave marched from Galveston to Houston for freedom. That's why I'm committed to H.R. 40, the commission to study and develop reparation proposals for them racial justice, for us racial justice. This is our power and our message. Hello, I'm Congressman Brown. My Black History tribute is to the Tuskegee Airmen of the 99th Fighter Squadron, the all black, all women of the 6888th Central Postal Direct Relief Battalion who accomplished missions thought to be impossible, and General Lloyd Austin, whose military career culminated with presiding over the withdrawal of U.S. forces from Iraq and today serves as our Secretary of Defense. This is our power, our message. Hello, I'm Congressman David Scott from Georgia's 13th Congressional District. I wanted to tell you about a friend of mine. Her name was Isabella. But in New York City one day, the Lord changed her name to Sojourner True. Hello everybody, I'm Congresswoman Frederica Wilson from the great state of Florida. My Black History legacy is the 5,000 role models of excellence project, which I founded almost 30 years ago to take little black boys from elementary school, mentor them through middle school, high school, and then we send them to college, breaking the school to prison pipeline. My power, my message. Hello, my name is Congresswoman Lucy McBath and I represent Georgia's sixth congressional district. My black history contribution to America is to travel the path of my Shiro, the great lawyer, civil rights leader, and politician, Barbara Jordan. Sanford Bishop, Georgia. Yesterday is history. Tomorrow, a mystery. Today, a gift we call the present. Use the gifts of the present today to solve the mysteries of tomorrow. So the greatness of Black history is defined by the work of our yesterdays. Black History Month inspires me. It shows me and people nationwide that my ancestors have a claim to this country and the right to achieve the American dream. This is our power. This is our message. Hello, my name is Congresswoman Cori Bush and I represent Missouri's first district. My black history contribution is bringing the movement to defend black lives from the streets of Ferguson to the halls of Congress as Missouri's first black Congresswoman. This is our power, our message. E. Katie Butterfield representing North Carolina's first district. My grandfather was mulatto. His mother was a slave, his father the slave master. Growing up in the Jim Crow South, I led civil rights demonstrations, became an attorney and served as a judge. And now I represent the district where my roots have been planted for more than 150 years. This is my Black History legacy. I'm Congresswoman Joyce Beatty. My Black History tribute in 1963, women weren't allowed to speak at the March on Washington from the Lincoln Memorial Steps, where my grandmother-in-law stood with Martin Luther King Jr. But 57 years later on those same steps with Martin Luther King III, I spoke. Our power, our message. Hello, I'm Congresswoman Ayanna Pressley, and my Black History salute is to the Black women throughout our nation, in our homes, in our communities, who have for generations been the truth tellers, the justice seekers, and the preservers of our democracy. We are because of them. This is our power, and this is our message. I'm Congresswoman Nakima Williams, representing Georgia's 5th Congressional District. My Black History salute is to my great aunt, Authorine Lucy, who integrated the University of Alabama 65 years ago this month. I will continue to stand up for justice and equality for all in her honor. This is our power, our message. Hi, it's United States Senator Cory Booker. Over 120 years ago, Congressman George Henry White introduced the first anti-lynching legislation to make lynching a federal crime. This courageous leader should be our inspiration now and make the George Floyd anti-lynching anti law the law of our land. This is our power. This is our message. I'm Al Green, the unbought, unbossed, liberated Democrat, who with 109 other Democrats laid the foundation for impeachment bringing it to a vote three times on the floor of the House of Representatives. This is Black History. I am Congressman Bobby Scott. 
My Black History contribution is introducing the Raise the Wage Act to increase the minimum wage. This bill would mean higher pay for nearly one third of all black workers. This is our power, our message. Hello, I'm Congresswoman Maxine Waters. My Black History salute is to the work I did to divest California pension funds from apartheid South Africa, leading to the liberation of Nelson Mandela. I've drawn on this experience over the course of my career in Congress to this very day as the first African-American and woman to chair the House Financial Services Committee. This is our power. This is our message. My Black History is to celebrate the legacy of the late David Dinkins, who was the first black mayor of New York City, blazed a trail for a new generation of black leadership in America's largest city. This is our power, our message. Hello, I'm Congresswoman Gwen Moore. Growing up in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, the so-called Selma of the North, I made history as the first black person to represent the state in Congress. I was inspired by Val Phillips, a person of many firsts who always fought for the most vulnerable. This is our power and our message. Hello, this is Congressman Danny Davis and my Black History tribute is to my wonderful parents, H.D. and Maisie Davis, and all of our sharecroppers, neighbors, and friends who believe that life could be better for their children. This is our power, our message. Hello, this is Emmanuel Cleaver. I represent Missouri's 5th District and the Congress of the United States. And this is my salute to Black history. There would be no civil rights movement had it not been for the Black preacher. Black preachers took the role and made it into a movement. This is our power. This is my message. Hello, my name is Congressman Benny Thompson. My Black History legacy tribute is the famous civil rights advocate, Fannie Lou Hamer. Her work in the South is legendary. This is our power. This is our tribute. I'm Congresswoman Terry Sewell of Alabama Civil Rights District. My Black History tribute is to the foot soldiers of the voting rights movement who shed blood on this bridge in my hometown of Selma, Alabama for the equal right to vote. Let us recommit ourselves to fully restoring the Voting Rights Act. This is our power and our message. Hello, I'm Congressman Gregory Meeks. My Black History salute is to Thurgood Marshall and Howard University School of Law. It is there I learned the power of legal advocacy and legislative action. That's where I fight to gain equal opportunities so that we can close the wealth gap. This is our power, our message. Hi, I'm Congressman Mondaire Jones, and my Black History tribute is to my grandfather, a janitor who grew up in Jim Crow, Virginia, where he was spat on by white kids riding by on a bus as he walked a dirt path to school. At the age of 33 years old, his grandson is now a member of the United States Congress. Hello, I'm Congresswoman Bonnie Watson Coleman. My Black History salute is to my father, New Jersey Assemblyman John S. Watson. Like so many Black fathers, the time he spent with us around the dinner table helped define our sense of self and purpose, and I am proud to be part of his legacy. This is our power, our message. Hello, I'm Lisa Blunt Rochester, and I represent Delaware. Our Black history legacy is we are the birthplace of America's first Black woman doctor, Rebecca Lee Crumpler, and Black woman newspaper editor, abolitionist Mary Ann Shad Carey. This is our power. This is our message. Hello, I'm Congressman Bobby L. Rush, and I represent Illinois' first congressional district. As a former Deputy Minister of Defense of the Illinois chapter of the Black Panther Party and a 28-year member of Congress, I am living Black history. Hello, I'm Congresswoman Alma Adams. My Black History salute is to my HBCU excellent education from North Carolina A&T, Bennett College, where I taught 40 years, and Johnson C. Smith in my district. I'm fighting for educational funding, for HBCUs every day. This is our power, our message. Hello, I'm Congressman Colin Allred. My Black History tribute is to Congressman John Lewis, a hero of mine who inspired me to become a civil rights lawyer before I ran for Congress 
and to get in a little bit of good trouble. This is our power, our message. Happy Black History Month, everyone. Jamal Bowman here representing New York's 16th District. The hero I want to recognize this Black History Month is Pauline Bowman, my mother, my strength, my courage, my love. She made me everything I am today along with my three sisters. We love you, Mom, and we will continue to honor your legacy. Hi, my name is Congressman Donald McEachin, and I represent Virginia's 4th Congressional District. Black history is American history, and my black history legacy will be my demand that our institutions tell a more complete American story, a story that celebrates the vibrant contributions of black people to the rich tapestry of our nation. My black history salute is to my HBCU, Clark Atlanta University, where I learned to serve my community and go on to become the first African-American member of Congress from Washington State. As the first Congresswoman who graduated from CAU, I know that I do not want to be the last. Government works best when it reflects all of us. This is our power, our message. Hi, this is Senator Raphael Warnock and my Black History Month tribute goes to the incomparable Congressman John Lewis. As a young man, he thought he might go into ministry, but instead of preaching sermons, he actually became one. Every day I serve in the U.S. Senate, I hope to be inspired by his living example. John Lewis, our power, our message. When I think about black history, I think about my uh, teaching of history. I used to tell my students all the time who found history to be boring. I would say to them, you must remember that anything that's happened before can happen again. And this history is for you to understand what happened before how you should conduct yourselves now, and how you should prepare for the future. A lot of our history, we don't ever want to repeat. So that's what Black History Month is all about. Finding it out, learning from it, and preparing for the future. This is our power and this is our message. As I have said before, that all of my attention, all of my energy, all of my focus, this is a defining moment in our history. This is our power and this is our message. Because I want everyone watching to hear me loudly and clearly. This is our power. This is our message. I'm Congresswoman Marcia Fudge. Have you ever asked yourself, what can I do to make a difference? I believe that uh, we have to constantly remind the American people of uh, our values as a nation. This is our power, our message. Hello, I'm Congresswoman Eleanor Holmes Norton. I represent the 705,000 District of Columbia residents in the Congress. My commitment is to represent everyone in our community. That's my responsibility. This is our power and our message. I'm Johanna Hayes and I am from Connecticut 5. I am the 2016 National Teacher of the Year and an educator. This is our power, our message. Winning takes a complete commitment of mind and body. Our country was founded on a fairly simple philosophy, a government led by its citizens. I'm Congressman Dwight Evans. You may not know this, but I'm a proud graduate of Community College of Philadelphia. I know firsthand that being a student at Community College while extremely rewarding, is not without its challenge. This is our power, our message. You certainly can't call yourself a true public servant without recognizing the contributions that have been made by this wonderful community. This is our power, our message. I'm Congressman Mark Vesey of Texas's 33rd Congressional District, and it's important to me that our community knows not only what's at stake, but what to expect. We've got to do something about it, and we can do something about it. But we have to get beyond this if we really want to solve complicated problems. I think what we have shown uh, to the world is that the American process works. What our founding fathers uh, created, it continues to work. Our power, our message. This, this is, this is our power. This is our power. This is our power, our message. Our message. Our message. Our power, our message. 
It is time to make history in our era.